In this video, we are going to show you how to do an exchange of the Gen24 inverter. Please note, whenever exchanging the inverter, you need to order an exchange inverter via our tech support or Funio Solar SOS app. After that, you have the possibility to exchange the inverter directly at the customer site. Please note, for exchange, you need to make sure that the AC as well as the DC side of the inverter is offline. And after that, you can start with uh, opening up the inverter with the two fast locking screws down below here. Then you remove the cover. And after that, you can remove the data communication cover by five screws down below, open up, and then you can directly start to unplug the inverter and to start to exchange it. Please note, however, Whenever possible, try to exchange the power stage on the inverter only because since this is a more efficient and quicker process in comparison of exchange of the whole device. This is due to the fact that we have clamps down below for AC and DC side and that means whenever you are just exchanging the power stage of the inverter, you don't need to touch the AC and DC cabling at all. You can let them as they are and therefore only exchange the power stage of the inverter in comparison of the whole inverter exchange process. So first of all, we start with open up the inverter. When you have finished unplugging the inverter from the cables, you can now take the inverter from the wall and exchange it with the new one. Therefore, you need to unfasten the plugs on the side of the inverter, hang it out and take it off the wall. When you have installed the new inverter to the wall, you can now start with installing the cables back again to the new device. When you have finished installing the new inverter with the cabling and the wall installation, it is now time to do the first initial commissioning of the new inverter directly via the web interface. How this works, we have an extra how-to video ready for you and you will find this video in the link in the video description. Next step is then to exchange the data source in directly in Fronius SolarWeb to make sure that the new inverter data is being sent to Fronius SolarWeb to your existing SolarWeb system. How this works, we are going to show you directly in Fronius SolarWeb. Please also note and not forget to send the old inverter that you just have exchanged back to us, back to Fronius. Here we need to enter the the open access point of the inverter with this predefined IP address you can then enter into the web interface of the inverter. The inverter detected a replacement and automatically starts with this licensing process when you enter the web interface. For this process you need the serial number and the V code and both of those are at the side of the inverter. You enter those two numbers and have the option to do an online or offline licensing. We now do the online licensing process. The first step is a general uh, data control here of PV system name, time zone and so on. The second step are terms and condition, which you have to agree once. The third step is a check of the network settings. And the last step is the license activation. You are now finished with the licensing process, but please don't forget the last step for you is to do a software update. 
You can do this update via Solar Web and have linked a how-to video for you in the video description. The how-to video is called How to perform remote inverter update in Solar Web. First up, we start directly on your phone, your solar web system. So this solar web system is now the system where you just exchange the old inverter to a new one. To exchange the data source in Phonius solar web, you go up below to the point settings. And there you find the second point components. Under components, you will now find the data source that you want to exchange. So in our case, this is the Gen24 with this pilot number. So we click on this device and we now want to change the data source with a hit on the button. Second up, you now need to put in the serial number as well as the V code that is written down on the nameplate on the side of the inverter. So therefore, please type in the serial number of the new device as well as the V code. And with these two data, you can now exchange the old data source to a new one. And from then on, the new inverter will deliver data to this existing solar web system. Please note, however, that of course the new inverter needs to be already online to do this. So this is the exchange process of the Phonius Gen24 inverter. With that, you have now successfully exchanged your inverter. To sum things up, that means whenever you want to exchange an inverter at the customer side, please always order the new device from our Phonius tech support or directly via the Phonius SOS app. Then exchange the inverter at the customer side, do the installation as well as the commissioning directly on the Phonius Solar Start app or on the web interface. And last but not least, please exchange the data source directly in Phonius Solar Web so that the new inverter will deliver data to the existing Phonius Solar Web system. I wish you all the best with that.